Ever wondered how to make your text or charts pop out in your map animations like magic? I will show you how to use a solid layer for a sleek, dynamic reveal so your animation stands out. Let's get started. First thing, I have to set up my map. Let's choose world imagery. Let's work with Canada and represent the percentages of French and English speakers. I will draw the country first. and use the four color gradient effect and choose some amazing colors. Now, let's animate our map by setting up some keyframes. We will also have to adjust the color points and set up the stopwatch. This is to make sure our color selection stays the same. If not, we might have one of the colors taking over the whole polygon. Now let's preview to see if the animation maintains the same colors. Looks good. Now we need to create a solid. Make it 4000 by 2000. This is to make sure it is big enough to cover our screen during the animation. Go to Layer, New, then Solid, or right click on an empty space in the timeline, then New and Solid. So let's make it 4000 pixels by 2000 pixels. The white color is fine for now, as we will change it later. We will bring back our time indicator and link our solid to the map anchor. Then turn it to 3D by clicking on this little cube. If you can't find it, click on this button to the very left at the bottom. It says expand or collapse the layer switch pane. Let's move our solid underneath our country polygon layer. Now we will set up the keyframes for the solid to come into view when the country polygon is moving to the side. This is the final position I want my solid to be at after the map animation is done. So set my end keyframes. The starting keyframes should be when my solid is outside of the preview screen. So select the solid layer and press the letter P on your keyboard. Then click and hold shift, drag the solid all the way to the left. Now, we will have to smoothen the animation by adjusting the keyframes graph so the solid animation looks natural. I will apply the grid effect to have a good looking background. I will maintain the corner point and adjust the corner.
set the border at 2 pixels, and I will invert the grid, then select a different color. The dark green looks good. I will add the noise effect so the background doesn't look flat. Go to Effects and Presets and add noise effects. I think 20% in the amount is good enough. Let's preview it now. It looks great! The next step is to make our pie chart. To show that 75% of Canadians speak English and 25% speak French. I will add a circle. I don't need the fill, but only the stroke, and I will make it red. I will click and hold shift to make it a perfectly round circle. Before doing anything, let's pre-compose it so we can have the chart and the text in a different composition. Select our circle and right click, then select pre-compose. We want the stroke to cover the circle, so I will increase it. After that, we need to add a trim paths, click to open the layer and click on add button then select Trim Paths, bring the time indicator to the beginning, go to the end stopwatch and click on it to create a keyframe. After 3 seconds, make it 100%. Great! Now we will duplicate it twice to make a circle for the 75% English speakers and another one for the 25% French speakers. To do that, select our circle and click Control or Command plus letter D twice to get two layers. To name the layer, select and click Enter that's on the main keyboard. If you are using the Enter key that is on the numeric keyboard, it may not work for you. Now we have to position the time indicator exactly on the second keyframe and change it to 25% on the French layer, then 100% on the English layer. I will show you what I mean. Okay, looks good. Let's change the color, French in blue and English in yellow. Bring down the opacity to 80%. To do that, select both layers and press the letter T on your keyboard and set opacity to 80% and for the original circle to 35%. We need now to stagger the layers so the animations will play in different times and play with the keyframes. Once all set, select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Now I will add a title and the languages to my graph so we can understand it. I will use an effect called slide and pop in for text animations. Now let's preview our animation and see how it looks.
I love it. We could make the solid cover half of the screen and leave Canada to show on the map. Let's do it so you see what I mean. Go to the second position keyframe, select it, and make sure the time indicator is exactly above it. If not, After Effects will create a new keyframe. Now we must bring back the solid to cover a portion of the screen like this. Let's preview our animations. Both of them look awesome. All right, map magicians, that's a wrap for this tutorial. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I've got your back. Feel free to go through the 20 plus training series that covers every major feature and functionality of GeoLayers 3, so you can create magic. And guess what? In the next video, I'll show you how to use a free plugin to take your maps to the next level. Seriously, they'll be turning heads. So stay tuned, stay curious, and I can't wait to help you create something amazing. See you soon.